Game number three in the last game as of now between Eddie and Monos. We have a Hans for this time. Eddie playing in red, Monos in blue. And gonna start with the, the maps again. Let's go for Monos first this time. Main stone and second stone safe in the back. Does not really need it as Hans uh, would be better than if this was the goal. Second gold inside, third gold outside, kind of forward, main gold forward. And he's got two deer. Wait, I've seen deer before. That's three deer for Monos. Two inside right now, one outside. But there's also two more deer inside, and Eddie can has found his own deer, which are. Yeah, kind of trapped here. Now that's uh, back a uh, bucket map technically. Of course, they're going to play this one boar inside, second boar outside. Monas is getting it right now. Ooh, this is dangerous. He's closing the wall again. Uh, but this villager should be fine. Low HP, but all right. And getting the first boar in. So main gold for Monas pretty forward. This might be dangerous, but he can take a lot of deer if he wants to. Relic wise, he's got one relic that's in between the two players here. And this one may be a little bit closer to Monas with number three over here. Here, number four, uh, also an extra gold here, and number five, a little bit closer to Eddie. We also have an extra stone on the map here, and Eddie got an extra gold inside. And he scouted it, I think. He must have seen this before. Main stone for Eddie, also safe. Main gold. Uh, awkward position because a lot of trees around cannot uh, get full exaggeration here and uh, also relatively forward second gold for Eddie forward and uh, the other gold inside very safe that's nice uh, Eddie doesn't need to scout as you can see by the gate uh, I guess at least yeah a lot of line of sight here and the second stone outside for Eddie so uh, all in all the map yeah, okay-ish, I guess. Uh, this gold is really, really not nice. Uh, and of course, no deer for Eddie. That's a little bit of a problem. But otherwise, it's all right. Monos should have the advantage here, uh, especially food-wise. How many deer? He's taken two deer here plus the two from inside. That's uh, four in total. There's three deer left, but Eddie has none deer, uh, no deer whatsoever. Four farms are up, and the barracks is up for Monos as well. Eddie um, should have at least one more farm. Actually, I would have got, uh, I guess, six farms, but he's got five. Uh, therefore, he's got six villagers on the on the berries, and he will be able to get the food in. We do see blacksmith and stable here, actually. More farms now coming up. Eddie clicking up to castle age first, 29 population. Monos doing a lot more, actually. Look at this, that's 30 villagers going up to uh, castle age. Interesting. Stable is up for him as well. And we do the first scout fight. That's the two initial scouts. Looks like Monos is taking the feather fight. Of course, Eddie is now coming out and trying to hunt this down. Sending a villager forward. Eddie, is he going to put a siege workshop up, maybe? Or or does he want to go for monks here? I'm not sure yet. I'm uh, not sure what the meta is if you're going to scout with Hans. The spearman is out, so this is turning into some like Arabia kind of uh, fight, uh, at least in unit composition here. And Monos somehow needs to protect this gold, I guess. Eddie going forward, he should not be able to see the gold. No, he cannot see this. But Monastery coming up for him, so monks and scouts, it makes sense. Of course, Eddie is uh, mixing in a knight. Eddie losing one scout here, but there is the spearman, and that means those three scouts have to run away. Not without taking a good hit on Eddie's remaining scout. Now spearman forces the scouts to go away, Eddie getting a first monk out. And Eddie with a TC somewhere, uh, only 100 stones. Where is it? It is putting up a TC. Oh, nice. Um, makes sense going for the gold here with the TC even. Uh, could have put farms here if he put one more tile to the, um, towards the trees, but doesn't really matter, I guess. And Eddie now trying to go for the relics here, while Monos, Monastery is up, two monks coming out, Siege Workshop as well, and no TC for now, because the Siege Workshop probably needs, he will need it to protect his uh, gold here. Um, monk Rush for Eddie, not really, I guess, just to get the relics, I think, uh, but he's getting more monks out, and right now, three scouts on the map for Monos, so he is gonna try and maybe s uh, snipe one of these monks, let's see if he's succeeding. Had to mute myself here for a second. Uh, Eddie getting his first relic in, getting more monks out, and the scouts just going around here. What is Eddie doing? Good amount of farms up for him. Second uh, TC, both are running. Monos is not putting the TC up yet. He should do that early now because he's got the wood, he's got the stone, of course, and two, mon two knights are out as well as a manganel. So this might uh, make uh, Eddie, or it might force Eddie away. Wheelbarrow coming in from Monos as well. Eddie doing Sanctity just in case. He probably knows about the Siege Workshop, I think, and therefore wants to make sure that he's not losing the, uh, the monks with one manganel shot. 
More monks also coming up for Monos. Uh, this is going to be a fight for map control. Siege Workshop coming up for Eddie. That's pretty aggressive actually, but it makes sense. And the Manganel going for this monastery. Uh, Eddie is coming back with his units. Is he doing more knights right now? Uh, let's go for Monos first. Not happening. Eddie getting a scout out. No knights. Probably saw the monks. And uh, one scout trying to go for the monk, but it's going down really fast. And there's more monks. Now Eddie's going to try and convert units. And uh, maybe he's getting a knight here. I think he's got one right now. Uh, almost losing a monk. He's gonna lose this monk, I think. Another monk going down and a big fight happening here. Ooh, this is not easy to see. Who is winning this? I think Monos is looking better. He's got more military units. He's got more knights out. And Eddie losing everything he has here. Even the spearmen, which are taking relatively cost-effective fights. But uh, in the end, Monos is the monk. Monk's here is gonna re um, heal those knights and Eddie right now in trouble a little bit. Uh, if this monk is coming out it's gonna be doomed immediately. Mm, should stay inside the monastery. Yep, there we go. Second monastery coming up for Eddie as well but this might not even go up here because monos should see this and he's starting to convert the villager as expected. So this monastery won't go up I think and right now he's standing there uh, or uh, staying here to make sure that... Ooh, and Eddie dropping the first monk out. Getting a, uh, a conversion here actually. He's gonna lose the monk now, but that's alright, and, and that means one monk is down and one knight converted. Good job here from Eddie actually, he's trying to get the map back. Managed to get a second knight converted, and that means Eddie is taking back map control. Look at this. Also, villagers Eddie for more because Monos right now has got, I think he's got three TCs up. Um, one on the extra barriers in his map, something I didn't see before, and one on the second gold, relatively similar to Eddie. Eddie with two, three TCs as well. So, uh, right now we're in the uh, in the mini boom um, phase or mode of the game and at the same time trying to go for the map control still. One ram is out but Manganel for Eddie and uh, Monos trying to go with the knight to take the Manganel down. Not happening. Uh, suiciding the knight before it's being converted. Can go fast at this point I think because not too many things are happening. This ram, uh, yeah, Monos should be able to secure it. There we go. But uh, Siege Workshop from Monos is going down. No. Manganel coming out and one for nothing. Uh, Manganel a little bit damaged, but still a good shot for Monos. Um, Eddie did see this a little bit too late. Monos doing Sanctity right now. And a big siege and monk fight, recorded by a few scouts, single knights. So we have all we need to see actually in a, in a cast late arena war here with in, on the Huns war. Maybe except for the. Um, the Cav Archers, something we could have seen uh, but not happening in this game. And Eddie managing to take a monk out, a torment done for him, but losing another Manganel here. And now the scouts are on Monos monks, that's not good for Monos. Monos is losing all the monks here, he managed to convert a scout, but now everything is going down. And uh, now even losing the Manganels, let's see if he can... Uh no, losing this and only damaging one of Eddie's Manganels. Double Manganel shot from Eddie, really nice. Now Eddie almost losing one again, but this one is going down. Nice micro this time from Monas, but Eddie with a big advantage here. Scout is <laughs> 1 HP, wow, it's not going down. And now Monas losing the other Manganel is creating more and more, but Eddie's managed to click up to Imperial Age, and that's the big difference now in this game. Being up to him first um, really will help Eddie big time, I think. And Monos saying I'm playing like 1700. Yeah, it's not it's not the best that he can do, I think. Monos, I've seen Monos play better, um, even if I haven't seen too many games of him. That's one for one now, that's all right. And Monos still not up to Imperial Age. He's still missing food here. He's got 19 more villagers. Maybe he should have stopped the villager protection early on. Also needs to get another my, uh, Lumber Camp here. This is looking terrible, in my opinion. And more Mangan fights but Eddie uh, this time managing to dodge the shot and uh, take a shot himself so we do see the Imperial upgrade done for Eddie now looks like he's going for Cav Archers yep there we go uh, Bracer coming in for Eddie is done fletching and Boatkin Arrow only three villagers on the main gold because yeah we know why a lot of villagers on the second gold and Eddie now going for the rest of the relics actually he's taking the extra gold uh, inside his base and I think he should start to take this gold as long as he can do it safely and going for the vaults now, Siege Workshop and another Archer Range coming up. I'm not sure if Monos actually sent this villager or if he was just going around. 
Uh, not sure, but we might see it run out more, uh, more often. Or maybe it was one of those villages. Uh, I don't know. Mm, Monos going with the lumber camp here. Not sure why, but uh, could go to a safer position. Eddie right now with full map control. Monos managing to get a few walls up behind this, but it's only delaying Eddie. Of course, Monos has clicked up to Imperial Ridge as well. Couldn't take for too long. Eddie doing cap ram, and now we're gonna see a lot of technologies researched, and Eddie is gonna. Uh, uh, make his army bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger and then at the right time he will start to attack. Monos is doing pikemen I guess, a lot of spearmen inside, could have done pikemen upgrade before but only now coming in, a lot of resources in the bank and not sure if it's the right thing to do because against Cav Archer's pikemen yeah, Halberdiers, they are all, all okay-ish, I guess, in the late stages, but for now, AD should be able to micro here, uh, killing this villager. Ooh, Mangan Elshad almost hitting these Cap Archers, plus two defense, plus three attack, of course. Halberdier coming in for Monos, and for now, he had to abandon his main gold once again. That's 800, that's more than 2k gold that he's missing right now, and he only got this gold, which he's taking, but the other golds are forward, I think. Where was the, was the other gold? Monos is taking stone. Other gold is here and that's not good because Eddie is uh, more or less controlling this. He can see it of course, he can see that no villages are there and Eddie is going into the castle. That's huge. Castle coming up from Monos as well but uh, Heavy Cavalry Archer on the way for Eddie and he's there with the capped ramps and these capped ramps will be able to take this castle down relatively quickly and uh, Monos doing indeed skirmisher now, iron casting to make the Halberdier stronger, but Eddie looking really good at this point, and villager wise Monos still got 20 more, so it's fully boomed, but uh, it doesn't help him because he doesn't have the military numbers right now, and he doesn't have siege to defend this, now one trap coming out, and Eddie cancelled the castle, putting it a little bit more outside, this was too ambitious I guess, Eddie now uh, gathering his uh, cap archers, heavy cap archers actually, and the cap rams, thumbering path and tactics coming in for Eddie, and I think next will be siege ramps then, uh, siege, up, siege ramp really important. Two knights alive for Eddie, maybe uh, if Monos wants to, to run out those knights will be helpful. Actually nice position here. And there's the ram train from Eddie, he's gonna go for this castle after taking the monastery down. And chemistry botkin are coming from Monos, he will try to defend for a little bit longer, but uh, I'm not sure how he sh can stop this, this ram push here. He either needs more mangonels and there's only one out from us right now, not more coming out and uh, once the castle is down I think Monos will be in trouble, he's starting to repair but the cav archers are just parking on the castle, also the trebuchet hitting this castle, this is not looking too good for Monos, Eddie clicking siege from as expected, castle is going down and Monos still not using all his halberdiers, probably wants to get more elite skirmishers first but he needs to do something because he's losing building after building, he's losing ground, cannot take his gold and Eddie is taking map control here and we all know how important map control is in these games. Um, Eddie taking the barracks down, all Halberdiers are dying because they're coming out single uh, as, uh, or as little groups only. Now Monos trying to send a few units but 47 against 60 military units and Eddie's units are gold units. Seed from upgrade is done for Eddie. Uh, I think this might be the GG anytime soon now. Lead skirmish is the only thing that is, uh, is holding the game for Monos here. And Siege Workshop coming up, double Siege Workshop outside, not sure what he wants to accomplish here. And and it's Gormish is fighting the heavy cav archers, it's a good fight actually, but um, yeah, Mona's calling TG, he knows this is over, he knows Eddie is going to be able to get more and more units in, and Eddie was about to um, send C uh, elite skirmishers, he's got a lot of archer ranges, up. that's two, four, five, at least seven, maybe more, uh, taking all the gold, he's got one in ten villagers, Eddie, that's huge eco for him of course, or for his playstyle, uh, but he did the 3TC mini boom, so that's alright, and heavy cav archer and Seed from just a really strong combination at this point. I hope you enjoyed this game, it was an interesting one, Monos uh, played okay-ish in parts of the game and other parts he uh, really managed to scrub a little bit, he set himself 1700 and yeah for his level 2k player that's not a lot. I hope you enjoyed this one, see you next games and GG.